Have you had a pay rise? When was your last pay rise? Uh, no, I haven't had a pay rise for years. No, not really. Uh, the money in my particular industry hasn't actually changed in about five or six years. Um, I don't know how much the CEOs are paying themselves. Probably a lot more. Maybe like 20p is not gonna, it's not gonna do anything. 20 or 30p maybe, it's just like still the lot of minimum wage. My employer did last winter give us like a, a bonus for the cost of living crisis, which did help, but in the, in the long term, it barely scratched. I don't know what the expression is, but it, it, it helped, but just like a tiny bit. Um, no, I haven't been given a, given a pay rise um, or anything, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm only a trainee. What do you think is the amount someone should be earning to live comfortably in London? Oh my gosh, to live in London, I would say, I mean, it's got to be close to 80,000, hasn't it? To live comfortably, to be able to just go out occasionally, fit a holiday in. God, the cost of travel's gone up so much as well. At least 26 to 35. If you're living by yourself, I'll probably say 15, 1,500 to two grand a month. That's, that can get you your rent, bills on the side, and a little bit for yourself. Um, but for a family, I couldn't even think of what a family would need. Well, I think the average rent in London seems to be around the £1,500 mark, so you'd need to have that as expensed. Um, so you'd really need to be pulling about 2000 to two three a month just to pay your, your basic needs of shelter and, and food and groceries and uh, whatnot. So, yeah, I think it would have to be around 55 to 60, 60K a year. Uh, yeah, I want to say maybe after tax between 25 and 27k a year. How does it make you feel? Yeah, it's just like it's it's really it's just like it's a, it's a it's a dark time for me. Like I can see the darkness in my future. Though. Can't, don't can don't if I don't have any savings, can't be able to just like afford a house or something like this. Just like can't afford any going out actually, because kind of like a trapped in system. It's becoming absolutely untenable to live uh, in Britain, and when you argue like we don't have the weather. So what are we doing here? There have been times when you have to eat just one meal and you have to walk instead of taking the tube or a bus because just, you just can't afford it, can you, at this point? It makes me feel really concerned for people in society that don't have as much as I do. And quite frankly, it makes me really cross with the government, really cross. I think they've just mishandled everything. And I'm a traditional Tory voter and they're certainly not going to get my votes again.